All right, it's time for a Lilia game. I will be playing against a Zack here, which is a good matchup for me. There's really nothing he can do against me that would be any type of scary, so this is not a problem at all. Uh, Lilia's honestly in a pretty damn good spot at the moment. I think she's a very, very good AP jungle pick right now. She has two viable build options, one of which I'm going to show today. The other one is uh, a Conqueror Riftmaker, which I did have or do have a few videos on as well, which you can check out if you want. Let's see. There's a war placed on my red buff. So, yeah. I'm gonna clear towards top lane initially here. I think if I can get an early kill on set, that would be nice, but I doubt it's going to happen, to be honest. I don't quite know who of these two actually has lane priority, uh, so I guess we'll find out, but full clear is always the move. We want those levels, we want that scaling. Uh, Lilia is not a good early game champion, but a very good mid to late game champion, so you really want that scaling. You want that experience, you want that full clear as fast as possible. Okay, quite a bad leash. I will not, I will not lie. Get that in. Still focus the blue buff. Okay. This is fine. Uh, being low HP here doesn't matter. Because, I mean, smite and grunt peeling is going to get you back up to full. Oh, yeah. Also, another thing. 60% uh, of people watching my videos aren't actually subscribed. If you are one of those people, consider subscribing. Checking if you're subscribed and hitting the like button while you're at it. Smile. If not, that's fine, of course. Let me just build this. Take the E here. You can take another point in Q, but I'm just gonna take all my abilities here. Get the uh, lure on the camp. Using E, generally, if you're starting red buff, is complete waste. Because it just costs way too much mana for not too much. But if you have blue buff, it's fine. Like you can just use it. You don't have to worry about your mana. But on the other side of the map, you definitely want to go double point Q um, on the clear. Because you need that... Uh, like, you don't want to waste your mana on, like, an E for 70 mana. It's a lot of mana to waste without having blue buff. If you have blue buff, again, you can be a little bit more okay with it, I guess. You can just use your E to learn, learn some camps and stuff. It's fine at that point. I'm a little bit sloppy on my clear here. I'm not going to lie, but it should still be fairly good. Put your auto attacks on these. No idea if this is possible, but I can try to look for a dive, maybe. We'll see where the Zac is, first of all. He used his W, which is great. I wanted to take third aggro there, but this is perfectly fine. That's cleared. That's a, just a third. Like, we definitely go for that. He Especially after his use his W, like, he just hard rushed that. There's no nothing to do otherwise than that. Yura had the pressure. There was a, a gank opportunity. I think Zack may have started topside as well. I think he did because he got a kill on bot lane, I'm pretty sure, just now. So just going to help him push the wave. Get that in there. I don't think... I think he already cleared this, to be fair. Yeah, he definitely did. I don't think I can run bot lane here. That would be too optimistic. Because she's definitely going to recall after that wave. She wants to buy right now. So I suppose I'll just do these camps. I'm going to do my Grump and my Wolves and then recall, I think. Get a reset clear towards the other side of the map. Because I don't think I have to worry about top lane as much anymore. Based on what I've seen from Fiora, I think she'll definitely be fine. I'm wondering if I finish another full clear here. Like, I'm actually genuinely wondering if I do that right now. I think I should do that right now, actually. Because it's going to allow me to get a pretty nice recall. Plus, there's not much going on on the map right now. So, I guess I might as well take the time. I could also just back after rules there, reset, and then do Krugs and clear down. But I think this is fine here. Yeah, she is most definitely fine on top lane. That's good. 
Ooh, and Boltman is actually getting a kill as well. Lulu has two kills, though. That's not ideal when you have a Draven. You definitely want your Draven to get those kills. There is a very high likelihood Zach's Boltman here. I guess for me, this is fine. Like, I got a nice, slow, like, early start here. Just clear, like, two full clears. It's fine. I got the recall in. Look for a bolt gank, probably. That wave should be bouncing back unless Draven keeps hard shoving it. Very nice back here. Zack is, in fact, bolt lane. I'm just gonna run bolt straight away. There is, should be a plant here so I can use that to get over. As long as he waits for me, he can play as aggressive as he likes. in this bush here. Go for the ash, I suppose. I really didn't want that kill, man. My burn tick got it. I would have much preferred Draven to have that. That's literally all that's the case. Burn just got it. That didn't hit? Oh, that is so unfortunate. Suppose I'll take the flash there. Kind of have to. I couldn't, like, if it was any other champion but Zac, I would have pressed ult there and killed him. But Zac passive under turret at this stage of the game with the minion wave dying, there's no way. If it wasn't Zac, though, I would have insta pressed ult and just killed him. Because any other champion at that HP range into a Lilia ult, into a free hit, will be an instant death. There's no doubt about it. Got some camps to clear, so that's what I'm focused on right now. I need to make sure my jungle tempo keeps up. In that situation, because both of my bot laners are low, they're obviously going to push the wave. So if I get into that bush with a control, like with a sweeping trinket, and just get... What the heck? And just get a good position, uh, that will be, a, will be a free kill every time. Like a free gank, because they're probably just going to push the wave. They know that they're very low. Ash just like, oh yeah, I'm full HP, we can do something here, and then Zeri steps up and dies. That's pretty much the idea there. My team didn't really have a risk of dying there ever, so that's why I pinged, like, go and try to stay and try to hold them there. I mean, yeah. I think the last gank that I just did there was pretty much nail in the coffin after killing the Zeri. I feel like that should be over on both sides. Wait, I didn't hit the Zack with my... Wait, did it time out on him? Damn. Wow, that's unfortunate. God damn it. I... Oh, I... It timed out on Zack, my passive thing, so my ult didn't... Ah, that's so sad. Wait. He really left? Oh. Huh. Okay, fair enough. I just insta-run tilt there for the counter gank situation, obviously. For me, I definitely want to look for this scuttle right now. Just play it calm. I'll be able to back for my Leanderies after this as well, so that's definitely what I'm going to do. I will take my Crocs recall, go for Dragon. We're gonna need some Dragon Vision. So yeah, two possible build options for Lilia. You have the option of going for what I'm doing right now with Dark Harvest and go for like Leandris, Demonic, like the classic burn build. And the other option is Conqueror with Riftmaker, Cosmic Drive. And uh, like that type of build is a very heavy sustain build, which is another viable option. Both builds are pretty much equal in strength. So you don't really have to like kind of whatever you prefer playing with, to be honest. Uh, that's the dragon. I figured as much, honestly. It is fine. 
if I wanted to get that dragon, I should have like given up on Scuttle and everything. And I don't for the first dragon of the game, I'm not that worried about it. There's nowhere for her to go. She's already dead. She's gonna run into me here, no matter what. Knights, yep. Oh, my team is fighting this, okay. Hit that for the extra passive hold on the move speed. It's gonna be a great ult. That's a terrible play on my end, how I did that. That was really awful. But it worked out. I still got like two man on it, but I completely like I probably should have just not gone for the Zeri at all because Vigor still had ultimate. But I don't think I had to go for the Zeri whatsoever. I think I should have just gone for the Zac. The Yasuo was pretty much dead in that position. He did flash over the wall and stuff, but my ult position just was way too good and insta won that fight. Like just that ultimate right there already won. Like after like the way I play after it obviously wasn't great, but it didn't really matter that much because I already landed the good ultimate. But yeah, I definitely should have gone for the Zac there and just killed him because Zeri was already a goner. Um, and Zac could have been a goner if I just focused him down. I think I check his top side here. Interesting. Oh, this is not ideal. Please, plant, I beg of you, be here. Oh, this is bad. Uh, that is not the position I wanted to be in. That's quite unfortunate, honestly. I initially was trying to look to get to catch that guy off guard and just go for it. I'm just holding the wave here. I'm making sure to clear this right now. There is no one that should be able to react to this, I don't think. Uh, that's definitely not good. Yeah, there's no way. I just go for Scuttle here, because Yasuo is now missing off the map as well. I do not want to deal with this. Still killed the set, which is nice and all, but yeah, don't, don't overextend it there too much. I can probably go for the blue here, actually. I don't think the Zac can do a whole lot against me right now because of the item advantage I have. I think he's just recalling, I would imagine. There's no way he walks into his jungle and checks that. He would have to have perfect vision on me for that to even be a thing because otherwise I'd just kill him. Yep, there he is. I do not fight this at the moment because at that moment in time, Set's uh, back timing out of base will be too destructive for me. As you see right there, he would have instantly been able to respond to that play and it would have been a 2v one which probably would have been a 3v1 because the Yasuo had like rotation ability there as well but that would have been a really bad situation for me to follow through that's why I didn't try to fight him even though I can easily kill him in a 1v1 I do not fight him there because of that got that in here I should go bot lane here I'm finishing these two camps no matter what but after this I'll go bot lane they are winning. Draven did get exhausted there, which could be potentially bad. Oh, this is awful. This is so bad. I played that so bad. I missed my thing on, on the Ash. Oh. How did I miss on Ash? Oh, man. I... I, I need to look back at that play, because that, that was completely horrible on my end. I, I, did I, How badly did I miss the Ash with my Q? Did she flash it? Because if she flashed it, then I guess fair play, but... Damn, my Q there was awful. Awful, 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 awful. At least the support got the kill on me, like the Ash got the shutdown on me, which is nice. But that's like best case scenario for the awful play that I just made. Oh, that was not good. I really need to look back at what happened there. If I missed the Q on Ash, like, just by mispositioning or, like, being out of range or something, that was just horrible. That would have been like, terribly my fault. If she flashed it, then I guess it is what it is. 
but still just really sucks on that play because that should have been pretty free. Oh, well, that's not ideal, is it? Please, Draven, I beg of you, just come. Just rotate, like... Oh, I do not want this. Okay, fine. That worked out, I guess. I still want the Draven to rotate for that, because it's just way, way safer. It's not like he's losing anything in that situation, you know? Draven should be able to get that. He's dead. Good. Beautiful. I landed the E on him there. Oh, God. Didn't hit him with that. The Zack's gonna walk up here and I should leave. I landed the E on the guy, so I just sleep him and then the Draven can clean that up. No problem. I'll take this to my jungle. Playing any type of aggressive here after Draven just recall is definitely not the move. Because if I do that, then it's going to be man disadvantage. Vigar is not in a position to follow or rotate, really. So it's not going to be a good situation for me. The Zac never died this game so far. Damn. I mean, he really should have. Like, I definitely should have killed him at some point. Oh, this is really bad. Holy moly, that's not... Okay. Ouch. That is painful. Okay, okay, okay. I need to calm down a little bit here. I'm playing too aggressive. I need to step back more in those situations. I should have, like, really thought about the fact that the Zac is in that position. Because I know he should have been there. I just knew. I, I should have known. So that was a bad... That was just, again, bad on my end. I've had two pretty dumb deaths, to be honest. I don't know. Like, I still don't know about this one. Like, I... Ugh. Eh. Oh, well. We just Rift Herald here for sure. That Rift Herald allows us to open the base pretty effectively. generally a fan of the uh, guy actually fully backing here. That's not good. That's actually really bad. Can't, I can't, I just can't, I can't do anything here. I have no passive stacks there. No Fiora there either. Zach's pretty strong, I should respect him more. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Didn't hit them. Okay, nice, you got the kill. Use my movement speed to my advantage there, luckily. Ah, the exhaust just kind of destroyed me on that one. I lost a lot of damage uh, over time with that exhaust. Also, the Ash ult was definitely nice to get the extra CC on me. I mean, the overall play is still good. Like, I got the double kill out of it without dying, but that was real close. I definitely need to respect this Zach more. He's doing a pretty good job. Your turret has been destroyed. Probably playing a tiny bit too disrespectful currently. I'm gonna have a pretty big back here in a second. Demonic is gonna be real nice. Have I mentioned the elo of this game actually? I don't know if I have. This is uh, Plat 1d4-ish. That region. Hmm... I need like 90 gold. I think since he took my Krugs and this guy's taking my red buff, like... I'm just gonna take mid-wave. I'm just gonna get this before the dragon gets here. Shut down. All right, got my item. Zach's very strong, actually. Like, really, really strong. He's getting those kills right now. Okay, sure. I'm down to do it. 
This is, a t this is risky for sure. But, I mean, I can see it work. We're gonna lose a lot. We're gonna lose a lot for this. It's a trade. My team wants to commit to it. We're just gonna do it. Whatever. Fiora should be up in time to probably defend the thing, I think. Who knows? So I need this. I need to finish the Baron, guys. I don't know if this is worth it. I mean, we chose it. Oh, they got the bounce on that's that's not worth it then. The second they got the bounce on that turret, it was instantly terrible. Okay, that was not worth it. That ended up being extremely bad for us. Well, we chose it, so we have to live with it. That was the decision we made. Trading all that. If it didn't get the bounce on that turret, I would have been fine. I think I would have been okay with that. But the second it got the bounce on our Nexus turret... Oh, uh, God. Like, I tried to defend it, but my team should have done it before I did. Like, it should not have been down to me to kill that Rift Herald. That should have been the first focus of the entire thing. That should have been the absolute first thing we did there. Let's kill that. Yo, team! Team, what the fuck, man? Man, are you dudes? What the fuck? Like, I don't like that at all, because Zack is the freest kill on the planet in that position. Uh, I do not beat him in a 1v1 like that, really. Not necessarily. That's quite painful, but... I'm not happy about what they just did. Like, that doesn't even make any sense. Because right there in that situation, the Zack's so far out of position. We kill Zack. We get so much. We get a massive shutdown off the guy. Um, he loses his Dark Seal stacks, I suppose. But we can make this push after that. No problem with Zack dead. They can't do anything because Zack's their team. So literally getting the, the target on the... Like, the free kill on that guy would have been... Should have been priority. I mean, I guess I'd die, that, die there for free, unfortunately, but, yeah. Any, like, I just needed one person to help me there, and it would have been fine. Just a single one. That missed? Oh. Huh. Alright, fine. Eh, I don't like it, man. It is whatever. I just, eh. I just wanted one teammate. Can't really go in on this by myself. Zack's still picking off targets for free on the sidelines with the Draven not grouping. Oh my god, the exhaust as well. I'm dead. Hopefully Zack dies. Oh, that's a not good. That is really not good. Yo, kill the Zack! Please kill the Zack! Oh, this is not gonna work. Okay, yeah, they're dead. Ah, uh, god. Okay, 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 okay. I see, I see. That's not good. That's really bad. <laughs> I, I keep getting insta-exhausted, which is so frustrating. Because that exhaust is actually crippling me quite a lot. The Zach's putting in very good work for them, man. Really. I'm really trying, but he's doing a great job. Granted, I am making some mistakes. Like, I'm definitely walking up a little bit too far, but the Ash is, like, ult-exhausting me pretty much on repeat every single fight. Which is very frustrating for me to deal with at the moment. Not again. Dude, how long am I CC'd for? What the f- 
Jesus, man. And Fiora doesn't even... Okay, whatever. I can't be asked. Dude, these Ash Arrows are destroying me right now. Jesus Christ. Like, actually destroying me. Uh, my entire bot side's gone, that's sad. I'm gonna actually back and get my Zonias. These Ash Arrows are just wrecking me. That Yasuo would have been dead if not for that Ash Arrow right there. Like, it literally was... All I needed to do was just land a W. Q, he's dead. Jesus, man. This Ash is... Like, I think Ash is just absolutely destroying me most of these fights. I literally think that's the only thing that's going on for me right now. It's just getting absolutely clapped by Ash ults. That thing has no cooldown either, so it's... Ugh. I would much prefer to 5v5 instead of having a Fiora split, if I'm being honest. He's top lane. I mean, he's giving up Dragon for this, but please just group. They literally can't win if we just group. Going in, okay. We have Vigar Cage and Lilia ult. I don't think in a team fight 5v5 they should be able to win, but Zach is very strong. Uh, auto pathing is awful. Dead. I'm gonna ult this guy right away. It's 100% worth killing Zack first. Perfect. Like, Zack is 100% worth my ultimate every single... Ba Baron! Dude, come on, don't all teleport to the bot lane. Are you joking right now? Craven needs to tank this. I can't tank this. They double TP the bot lane on that one. Holy moly. Okay, perfect. In that fight, all I did there was just solo ult Zack and make sure that guy dies, because that's the only thing I have to do right now. I've, like, done a lot for my laners to get big leads, but this Zack has been playing really well overall. I will 100% give him that. Insta exhausted again, of course. What's new? I literally think I like every single time that exhaust is up from that guy, he's used it on me. Like, not even memeing. I would be more surprised if that thing didn't go to me, honestly, at this point. Make sure I yoink the, yoink the rep off there real quick. Yeah. I, I need magic penetration. I have to go get a Void Staff next. I can take the time to recall still. I'll sell this and I'll get the... Actually, can I sell the entire thing? I can. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sell the entire thing, actually. I'm just going to sell the Magi's because it doesn't have many stacks, but getting extra magic penetration right now is super good for me to kill, help me kill Zack and stuff. I think this is worth it. She should solo kill that guy, no problem. Was she? Is she not gonna get him? She might not get him, actually. Ash is here. Wow, he actually didn't get him. That's pretty much her misplay, to be fair, but... Okay, I'm just gonna push in mid here. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Put some pressure down. Pop's still getting pushed in, so it's all good. Your 
They have nothing left in their base. He should be dead. There's no way Ash lives there. I absolutely destroyed them with a the flash shield on that one. Okay, okay. Play slow. I can't walk into the Zac too early, too easily. Like that. That's a good poke. Good. Beautiful. Play it as far out of there as possible. I got a really good flash ult and gauge, and then we just make that off. Clean it off. Very well played to Zac. I'll give him props. But um, yeah. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button below. It helps me out quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Alright, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing 35.3k damage, which is very respectable. Uh, Fiora out damaged me by a little bit, but it's not that much. Uh, here, Zack did a good amount, Draven did a decent amount, the rest is just kind of like half that. True damage dealt should be pretty high, it is at 8,000 true damage dealt. Compare that to the 10k from the Fiora, I actually did a lot of true damage here. Uh, this is very, very good damage output, it's just like... Yeah, 8k compared to a Fiora who's like more so based around true damage. Doing 8k is really good. Damage to objectives at 30k. Draven at 41, which I'm not surprised by. He got a lot of objective damage by just hitting Baron, I think, as well, mainly. And turrets, I suppose. Um, healing done at 20k, which is very respectable. Obviously, nowhere near to a Zac healing. He played really well this game. I will definitely give him props. He held his team together as much as he could. Damage taken here at 41.5k, which is the second highest on my team. Definitely very respectable damage. This shouldn't have been as high because I definitely made a couple of mistakes throughout the game. Just walking up a little bit too far, walking up into plays I probably shouldn't have. I should have played a little bit more on the edge of team fights with Lilia, like in and out, in and out, instead of trying to walk up a little too far. But to be fair to me, I think I got Ash ulted and like exhausted on cooldown every time. Like I think that thing hit me so often that it's just disgusting. So, you know, at some point, yeah, what can you do? Self-mitigated damage at 26.2k. Gold earned at 15.5k. And for the runes, Black Harvest deal dealt 2300 damage. Cheap Shot dealt 1000. And then for the ultimate hunters, just ultimate cooldown, celerity, 18,000 extra distance, which is a lot. And uh, well, yeah, that is it for Lilia.